Oh, for sale now, Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2013 Hyundai Sonata Limited. Black on the outside with black leather interior with only 12,000 actual miles. <clears throat> Loaded up with factory navigation, color backup camera, panoramic moonroof, heated seats, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It is still under the full manufacturer's bumper to bumper as well as powertrain warranty. It has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website, vehiclemax.net. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the homepage is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. <clears throat> the car has this intelligent type key that goes in your pocket. I'll show you how it works now. Lock the vehicle, put the key in my pocket. When you approach the vehicle, both front doors have a little switch on it, a little rubber switch. You press it once for the driver door and quickly thereafter for all three other doors. And you can do the same thing from the passenger side as well. You know, I, mis I misspoke earlier when I, was, uh, when I was saying the vehicle's black on black. It's not black on black, it's black on gray. I just shot a video on a Maxima that was black on black. And uh, I got caught there talking too fast and not paying attention to what I'm saying. The door panels are two-tone. They're uh, black on the top or charcoal gray on the bottom. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, cruise control, tilt wheel, all that good stuff. Got the um, Infinity sound system. Got a driver's side, power seat, power recline, and lumbar support. Got seat side airbags as well as curtain side airbags. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in spotless condition. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, carpeting, and there's no other smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non smoker. Got a leather wrapped steering wheel that is two tone, black in the top with gray in the sides. Got Bluetooth, voice command, remote control steering. Uh, for the stereo here, or on your steering wheel, of course, cruise control, power trunk, gas release door, traction control. But let's go ahead and get it started, show you the uh, interior options. Okay, once you get inside the car, the vehicle senses that the key is nearby, and all you've got to do is step on the brake and hit the push button start. Okay, you don't have to hold the switch for it to start. Uh, let's go ahead and put on the navigation here. Touch screen as you can see. And there's your navigation and you can go full screen if you like to also. Uh, I think you press here and it goes to full screen. There's your full screen. Alright, let's open the moonroof next so we can get a little better lighting for the video. Uh, moonroof has a, um, a power uh, sliding shade. Okay, and as you see, one touch, you don't have to hold the switch to do any of that stuff. Okay, the one that the moonroof that opens is the one in the front, the one in the rear is just for you to look out of. But we'll leave it open for the duration of the video so we can get a little bit of lighting. And let's put both front windows down. The driver's side is also automatic, meaning one touch, same as moonroof, you don't have to hold the switch for it to go up or down. The passenger side, you do have to hold down. And as you can see, all the windows are tinted. Got 12,157 miles. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer. I'm going to rev the engine. 2.0 turbo. Very economic and very powerful. And the reason I'm revving it is so you can see the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance soon, nothing like that. Everything's running perfectly and it's under full manufacturer's warranty. Okay, you also got an automatic transmission that has a manual shifting mode. You see these tabs here? You tap on them back here, and that can make the transmission shift. If you hit the passenger side here, which is the positive, it'll, it'll shift up. If you hit this, this side here, which is the negative, it'll shift down. And that's only when you're in automatic, uh, in a manual shifting mode. Like, for example, right now, I'm going to put the car in reverse. Okay, when you do that, the color rear camera comes on, and it's got parking guidelines. Okay, now we're going to put it in uh, neutral. Okay. And drive. And that's how you're going to drive it 99% of the time. But if you want to make it go into manual shifting mode, you push the lever over to the left, and now you're in manual shifting mode. So you have an option of tapping here to shift up, okay, or tapping here to shift down. 
and we have right now here let me put it back in drive so you can see what it looks like I'm gonna push the lever over here but I want you to see what here you see where it's there it's got the D on there where the gas gauge is at if I put it to push it to the left now it shows us the word first gear if I tap on the positive it shifts up if I tap on the negative it shifts down okay again if that doesn't interest you just push the lever, leave the lever on the right hand side and the automatic transmission will shift for you also you can make a shift manually right from this shifter here you see the positive and negative here when I move it over it lights up if I tap up it'll shift up if I tap down it'll shift down okay let's put it back in park before I do that let me show you we got a couple cigarette lighter adapters in there and this uh Hard to secure. All right, it reveals your auxiliary port, which is for your iPod, and the right hand side one is you got a USB rectangular port, and of course, your two cigarette light adapters for your chargers or cigarette lighter. Got a storage straight on there, another one here, two cup holders here in the center, heated seats with low and high positions, independent of each other, of course. Got another tray here for like coins, <coughs> and you got storage. Let's put the car back in the park, and you got storage here top tier storage which you get by pulling up on this handle and then the bottom tier by pulling up on this handle and that reveals a deeper storage down there your main glove box is over here and there's your own this manual and all supplemental booklets and everything that you need all right let's see here okay we got a multi-function rear view mirror that has a uh, uh, compass in the upper right hand corner it is also an auto dimming mirror that has a sensor that senses bright light so if somebody puts their high beams on you it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision also has a universal garage door opener where you can program with three up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community um, and many other functions here that you can access from your uh, um, from your owner's manual all right we got dual climate control Right now I got the driver's side here at low maximum and I'm going to put the passenger side let's say at 67 and all that really does is it makes the AC vents on this side of the vehicle blow at 67 while the ones here and here blow at 60 or whatever it is you want to set it to. Let's put on some music. By the way, you have control remotes for the music for the stereo right here. Raise the volume, lower the volume. Let's put it all the way down. Okay, this is uh, to navigate about your preset stations. Those are the ones that you set yourself, which of course can be changed. Here, right there. If I tap up, it shifts. It keeps going to the program stations. Okay, and then the mode button, that takes you, right now we're on FM1. Takes us now to FM2, AM, XM1. Right now it's in preview mode because you have to sign up for your own subscription. XM2, XM3, and back to FM. Okay, and then over here you got your cruise control. Okay, your trip odometer and your reset buttons for your onboard computer. Voice command on this side and your Bluetooth controls. Once you pair your phone, you can answer the phone by just uh, hang up. You hang up here and you pick up over here and you listen to it on the car speakers. Okay, uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, okay, up here you got a uh, pocket for sunglasses and map lights that light up when you push them got a uh, vanity mirrors when you slide this here okay and then you have also um, vanity up there okay your uh, little lighting so you can see what you're doing at night let's pan over the passenger seating area now so you can see it's in great shape again no cuts no tears no burn holes perfect condition only 12,000 miles and uh, let's pan over the dashboard area now in the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays, 9 to 5, and always close on Sundays. All right, um, if I miss anything, feel free to call me. I'm trying to get as much as I can here on the video. If I uh, miss something, call me and I can go over anything you might want at 305-218-5462. You got another storage pocket here that you can access by pressing here. Now let's turn off the car. And let's move to the passenger section of the vehicle. <clears throat> now when you exit the, uh, by the way, I left the moonroof and the windows open, which has no bearing in the demonstration of how the key lock works. When you leave the vehicle, and now if you want to lock the vehicle, you can do two things. You can reach into your pocket and press the lock button on your remote, or you can simply come here. And that locks all four doors. And again, the key never left my pocket. Let's go ahead and open them back up by just pressing once for the driver door and quickly thereafter for all of the three doors so we can access their rear seating area here. The door panels in the rear are the same as in the front. 
uh, two-tone and uh, of course you got power windows you got also the you got heated seats on the second row so not only the front passengers have heated seats but also the rear passengers too this vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection I'll show you how that works stick your key in here or a screwdriver give it a half a twist to the left and what that does is that disables this inside door handle that's in case you got little ones and you don't want to be able to open a door from the inside once you engage that the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle to re-engage for adult passengers to bring your kids get your, your, your key in there or your screwdriver to give it a half a twist to the right and this handle will start working again get the factory floor mats get AC vents on the back of the center row for the rear row passengers Got also anchors for your baby car seat. There are two on each side. This is so you can fasten your baby car seat to those anchors. You got, um, this is a five passenger, two in the front and three in the back. And uh, makes a total of five. And then you also, if you don't have a middle row passenger, you have a little center console here you can bring down to put uh, cups in it or just rest your elbow. Okay, um, you got curtain side airbags for the rear row passengers as well. Okay, and... Uh, Give you another look at the headliner so you can see it's in great shape. Again, no cuts, no tears, no burn holes. You got the panoramic roof that pretty much takes up the entire moon roof. And you get the shade if you want to block out the sun so it doesn't bother you. All the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk open really quick here. Press and hold. Okay. Nice and spacious trunk. Plenty of room here. And then uh, you have handles here. If you, if you pull up on this, the back, seat, the back seat will flip forward so you can go into cargo mode and put something large in there if you want to. You can do one side and not the other. All right, let's continue around to the passenger side here. All the chrome trimming is in good shape. It's not uh, pitted or peeling or cracked. Again, it's a 2.0 turbo, limited edition, right rear tail light, perfect shape. No cracks, no cuts, no, nothing like that, just brand new condition. Rear window defroster. Okay, let's open the right rear door, come around to the passenger front door, and then after that we'll conclude the video. Right rear door panel, perfect shape. I'm sure by now you notice that the panels have no, have no cuts, no cracks, no burn holes. You got also the speaker covers in good shape, and you also got bottle holders here. You don't want to put a soda here, but you can put a bottle of water or something like that. Uh, another look at the interior from a different angle. Okay, come around to the passenger front. Like I was saying before, you can open the door from this side too. We're using that uh, little switch on the handle. You gotta have the, uh, the key in your pocket, obviously. The front pockets also have a uh, little storage for the bottle holder. Again, this uh, Infinity sound system. Curtain side airbags, heat side airbags, front airbags, and tons of warranty left here. Hyundai warranty, is, uh, they have excellent warranty in these vehicles here. All right, um, four wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors, HID lights and a bunch of other options that I probably missed <laughs> that I, I can only get so much in this short video. Um, I want to talk to you about financing for just a second. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not just good credit. We even have some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, or you live a long distance away, or you simply just want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the homepage, you see a silver tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.